Hey everybody, I'm going to show you indirect percussion today, and in particular, I'm going to use it to solve this problem. When you take big flakes off from a big cobble, you end up with a very thick bowl bend, and then a very thin flake, but for a lot of flint nappers, getting rid of that bowl bend is really difficult, if not impossible, so they usually just end up breaking it off. Let's look at this one for a minute. There's a lot of meat left in there, and you can get a really nice point out of this, conserve the resources, but if you did this just freehand with regular percussion, it would be a nightmare. You just can't drive flakes. So let's get going on indirect percussion. What I'm gonna be using are these modern tools made out of ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. But let me show you how I set it up. So I've just got a regular web strap here and I'm gonna take a loop around that end, run it under my knee and then bring it up here. And then you wanna tighten it pretty tight. Now the other thing is to keep these from kind of separating over time, what I've been doing is this. And really the person to watch, the person that I think does this technique the best on all of YouTube is Jack Crafty. Uh, he's the one that I learned it from indirectly, of course not in person, but watching him on the internet. And you can get some amazingly thin pieces using this technique. Now as far as striking this, I could either hit it with the copper bopper, real heavy one, or what Jack does is he uses, uses another piece of the, the polyethylene. A lot of beginning flint nappers will think this is ideal. Now, it is ideal for just a very primitive slicer. But if you want to make an actual biface out of this, you got to crush off a lot of that. And that devastates a lot of flint nappers, you know, because it's already thin, it's already thin, but it, you can't work it, not very easily. So I'm just going to use a bopper and crush the edges off. Okay, so now we're back to that bulb problem. I mean, you might be able to strike this freehand, but let me try this indirect percussion, especially on that fat bulb. Again, what I'm doing here is I've got the little copper nail sticking out, and I'm going to hold where I want to strike. So let's try striking this off. Hold this right up against there, and press together. Press two legs together. That blew a good amount of that material off. Now I can move here and blow this off. Okay, I'm making inroads. Come over and get this down there. Okay, so we're definitely making good inroads there. The precision of the indirect percussion is what I really like. Now let's see what we can do with this really fat bulb end. Okay. See, I'm making big inroads. Again, I'm bringing that center line down so that I can get some more strikes to try to blow this off. Slowly but surely, trying to get that big hump out. Here's a different angle, so you can see the business end. Now normally, if I was just trying to do this with direct percussion, this would be a nightmare. Because it's like a turtle shell. I just can't blow off those pieces. So let's try back here. Let's try to strike this platform, drive it down this way. Oh, that was nice. Look at that. Look at that flake right there. That, that's the beauty of indirect percussion. Very precise. That was good too. Look at these. They're just screaming across the face. Thinning, thinning, thinning. Look at these. These are just flying. Flying across the whole face.
This would be an impossible little chip of stone to work with direct percussion. You'd basically end up with nothing. That is really nice. I mean, you can see how nice and controlled the flaking is. Look at this piece. That's not bad. That's not bad considering that bowl bend was so thick. Okay, I think I'm gonna finish this up with traditional pressure flaking, but I'm super impressed with this technique, this indirect percussion. Let me finish this up, get back to you. All right, I think I'm gonna call this done. If you're new to flint napping, you're probably gonna be a little surprised at how small this point is from such a big flake. However, if you've been flint napping for a while, you know how difficult it is to work those bulbs, those big fat bases, and to get something this thin. So I highly recommend trying indirect percussion. I think you'll drive flakes a lot further and you'll be able to really use material that was unusable um, to me even a couple weeks ago. I just started using this technique and I love it.